What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over, well, I'm not gonna be going over, but the girl that did my facial is gonna be going over everything that she did today. Um, I got a dermaplaning facial, but literally it was so much more than just dermaplaning. I was blown away by everything that she did actually. Um, but I know that whenever I'm going in for a facial or I'm interested in getting a new type of facial that I've never had before, I just like to watch either videos or just like look up what it's all about and what it's good for and what it helps with. And so I just hope that this video can kind of give you guys a little bit more information about dermaplaning and then everything else that she did. I literally don't even know what it's called, but you will see in the video. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, then just keep on watching. Hi, I'm Jane Van Lahr and I am going to do a procedure on Savannah which is called a dermaplaning and i'm going to use uh, a little thing from twinkle and um, it and take the blade off and that's the blade right there so i'm going to do this on her face i have a lubricant i'm going to cover up her eyes so we'll just cover up right there i do two things first of all i go forward and then i'll clean this off and i'll go back over so I'm just making a movement. I'm just getting the fine, we call it visceral hair. So you can see the visceral hair coming up. And also in the visceral hair, there's a lot of things that are dirt and grease and debris. So we're getting all that off. But you can see the hairs from there and they do have dirt and debris one of your longer hair. I'm going to turn her on the side and I try to protect her little sideburn area. So I'm going to start in the sideburn area and move that down. You can see the hair's going away. I'm just going to work down to her jawline. And this is good just to remove the topical dead skin too. You have about somewhere between two and 35 layers of dead skin. So she doesn't have 35 layers. 35 <laughs> layers would be somebody that's oily acne. She's not oily acne. She's more in the normal to oily. But de definitely going to be drier through here. And you can kind of see that that skin looks different than this skin here. It's almost like this looks dirty compared to this being clean. And she's oilier in that area. So, but you can see as I remove it. It, it gives a, a different color. And that's just the oil. Oil has a tendency to turn yellow. It's my southern yellow. <laughs> it stretch the skin. It helps uh, get the skin movable so I don't hurt it. I don't want to cut at all. But this is a safety so it doesn't... I have blades I use so if somebody's a little different skin type. I might use a different blade. Before she turns over, I'm gonna go ahead and get through here. And I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to her hairline here and get yes, these I'm so excited. little hairs off. Yeah, I like to get those off, right? I know, I always see those. I'm like, they're just so, like, what is the purpose of well, having yeah. little hairs right there? Well, hair is a protective. Yeah, you know, that's, that's why we have it. It's when God gave us this little protective device. And we all have hair. and on our face as a protection. Just some people that are blonder. <laughs> Here we are, one, right? taking it all off. Yeah. When I remove this, we remove, I remove something else. It's called the microflora of the skin. So the microflora is also a protective uh, device that helps us from sun, so it's a protection from sun. So it's very important that for the next two days not to get in the tanning bed um, not to get in the sun, direct sun, to stay in the sun for a long period of time. So I wouldn't want her to do any um, sun exposure. Now I'm going to go ahead and do her brow since I'm on this uh, side. Ah, yes. So what I do is I just, you know, find the area I want to stay in. And kind of just, I make a, a little mark that way. And then I'm just going to go and get those little, little hairs. And I can also go in here if she's got some up underneath and flip that down. This is the second part we do um, that I make an upward move over her skin. So now I use the mag light so I can make sure any little guys that I didn't get before. So hairs grow downward. So um, that's why you should cleanse upward. You should tone upward. You should mask upward. 
because you clean out the pores more than going down over. I go then into the extractions. So I just take I take a little lancet and and I'm gonna work a couple of them because I can't. I don't want to push on all of them, but I want to open it up. So especially in a an area that's oily. You have a lot of oils that come to the surface, and once they hit the air, they start drying out. So they turn to glue. So that's why sometimes you can't get something out because it's, it's hardened. And I'm just taking the lens that I go over, and then bam, I get it out. Um, and when you get them out, you have to say bam. You have to. <laughs> you have to. You go, bam, <laughs> it's out. You know. Out. Okay, last time I got this done, it hurt really bad. Yeah. So I was really nervous, but this doesn't hurt at all. Okay, so now I finished her her planing. She's going to be red. That's just normal. If you know, irritated her skin some. So blood's come to the surface. That's all it is. And I'm just going over now with a toner, and it's an antiseptic toner, just to make sure we don't introduce any bacteria. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to do microcurrent, and microcurrent is antibacterial. It's going to uh, kill any germs on her face, but it's also going to um, heal her skin in the sense that she won't be as red. So you can see her redness now, and then we'll come back after we do the microcurrent. You can see how she's not. This is microcurrent, and I've just got a lubricant on her face. And the reason the lubricant's on her face is to, um, so I have a cushion, because this is an electrical current. Now, right now, I'm just getting the lotion spread out so it doesn't roll all over her face. I can like kind of feel it. Feels yeah, cool. and so what she's gonna feel is like a little tingle when mm -hmm. I'm near her eyes. Do you feel a tingle? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a slight little tingle. It doesn't hurt, it just tingle. feels like an odd If feeling. you feel a bite, it's because there, there's not cushion. And then the next thing um, she's gonna feel is, or see, is she might see lights around her eyes. Do you see mm -hmm. lights? I do. So like, now she has feelings in her mouth. She might taste the metal. So the mask is finished, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, Pure Oxygen. This is by Spa Technologies, and it's pure oxygen. It's a liquid form of oxygen, so I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to put that over her skin. So you know how I talked about it. When you clean your skin, you work upward. When you tone your skin, you work upward. But when you do your makeup, and when you do your moisturizer, you work downward. And a good way to remember that is wash. It makes it upward, the W works upward, so wash upward, but makeup and moisturizer is downward. All right, you guys. So as you can tell, I've already done my makeup. Um, I wanted to do it just because the reason I love getting this facial done is because it makes your makeup go on so much more seamlessly and it just looks so much better. If you've had this done, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But today I went into it fully thinking like I'm just gonna get like Dermaplane and maybe a facial, but she did so much more than that. And honestly, I'm glad she did because my skin probably really needed it. In this video, you saw the good, the bad, and the ugly. I had such a good time today. I feel so much better. This facial was so much needed. And if you guys have been planning on getting this facial or thinking about it, I would definitely recommend it. I feel so much better. My makeup looks so much better. I definitely still have a few problem areas, but those obviously are not going to go away overnight. But, of course, it helped a lot with it, and my skin just feels so much better it's so soft it's so glowy and it just feels so much more alive but thank you guys so much for watching this video um i had such a good time filming it and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as always if you did give it a big thumbs up and by the way i'm not naked i have a tube top on anyways thank you guys see you next time bye